Hey guys, how's it going? I hope things are well. Welcome to Flippin' Igloo Plays Finding Paradise. Now, I am so excited to be playing this game because this is by Freebird Games, who made my favorite game, which is To the Moon. If you haven't seen To the Moon, I highly recommend you go check that out. And because this is kind of like a part two where I believe we'll be say seeing the same corporation or at least like the same two characters from the previous game. So I don't know. I am just so excited. Even looking at this title screen. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay. Well, enough talking then. Let's dive in. The artwork is so beautiful, and I love the music. <laughs> oh no! No! It's good people. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, I've already made a pun and I'm like two minutes in. <laughs> Neil Watts? What the- mm, Eva? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. Dang cold! By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. I love them! <laughs> we should be arriving at the patients as soon. I can use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. What? Okay. And then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree. Huh. Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? <laughs> yes! I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh my god, yes! This is me and my friends in a nutshell. Although I'm Neil. Oh, I thought that was a baby for a moment. Oh my god. Oh, she's crying. Oh no, I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna give him some strong parenting words about bullying. He better get his shoes wet and get that bear. Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt devil. <laughs> Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. <gasps> yes! Oh wait, which controls? Oh, there's d many controls I could use. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? <laughs> yeah, what? You know, cucumber roll, sushi. Okay, you know what? I'll give you for trying. Yeah, uh, no. That's quite a stretch. I mean, it is. Um, even now, okay. Can I run? I don't think so. Hmm. There's a leaking sprinkler over there. Dang, Neil, no sympathy. Hey, 
okay now? What happened here? She... Potato? Oh, that's so cute! Please tell me you're curly, like curly fries. She... She kicked my teddy into the water. How unbearable. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But it's so cute! Amber, I will fight you! Especially for potato! But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Oh my god, they are, sweetie! You are gorgeous! You're doing just fine! Yeah? Well, she also named you. <gasps> okay. Damn, Amber with the clapbacks, though. Oh, no, no! Potato! Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling ya, I got this one. Who helps? Yeah, let's let Neil do it if he wants to, sure. Hey, oh my god, is he gonna push Amber in the water? <laughs> That's savage and also kind of bullying Neil. What? Huh, is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Oh, like you, right? Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they... Dang! Dang! Oh, I kind of feel bad she's cracked. Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it in <laughs> Sorry, I should be more serious. Because, I mean, that is really funny. But also, Neil, that is bullying. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Okay. You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. She sh Okay, okay, third t Okay, hold on. <laughs> you just took some kid's doll and kicked it and kicked it into the water. <laughs> you could get sued for. Yay! <laughs> you're my hero. Oh, that's so sweet potato. You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face, potato! <laughs> oh, she's dancing now. <laughs> Precious child. <laughs> This is so messed up. I mean, I do agree with you in a way, Eva, but... Or it's Ava, probably. Just as this cold and damp, Ava. Kinda like a tuna. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Wait, no, I wanna... Hold on. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. Oh no, I think we should get both of theirs. What about, what about you, Potato? So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. I feel though, that's so funny. These look important. Nope. Well, I guess we should go to our client's place. I don't think I can run, so let's just enjoy the scenery, guys. <laughs> oh, I kinda like how the dolls are facing each other. Well, okay. So here we are, I think. Yes. No. Yes. What? Hello. Hey there. This is Dr. Rosalie and Ann Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Dots. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast device through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, 
then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Okay, let's go! Um... Hello, sir! Oh. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you here. Hello, sir! Here to fulfill someone's dying wish. Huh. How do you know? This is like the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Probably. Oh. Wait, can I talk to him again? Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. Dang, you only care about money, but you know what? I think you have a nice view, so as long as it's not an outrageous price, people are still gonna rent from you. Although, I still think people will rent, even if it's out an outrageous price. Trust me, I live in a city. At this rate, soon, I wouldn't even have a job here anymore. Okay, well... I mean, it's not like we're killing them, though. You're acting like we're killing them. I mean, maybe, yeah, we're just bringing attention to, like, the fact that, um... Yeah, someone's gonna die. But... Okay. Spouses, am I right? <laughs> hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. <laughs> Depends on the person. Also, I'm still loving the music. I know I'm just gonna buy the soundtrack like I did with To The Moon. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts, ahem. Yes, we're here for Colin? Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. Okay. Thank you, Sophia. I'm sorry, Sophia. Oh. Oh. No. I feel like there's some shady business going on. Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? You know, that's such an interesting concept, though. Like, if you're dying and you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? Oh, there's so many endless possibilities. Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, cause right now I really need to put this box down. <laughs> Guess you could say your little boxed in there, Neil. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is really pretty. So we're... Oh, look at that picture! Sorry. Oh, of course. We go right to her study. Right? This is such a nice place. Wow. Oh. Asher. You must be here for my father. Oh, I can move. Yeah. You're the patient's son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That book... Yeah, that box looks heavy. See? He gets it. <laughs> okay. I wonder. Can I... Oh, I can go out. This is beautiful. This kind of reminds me of, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Freebird Games has another game. I haven't yet played it on my channel, but I do own it and I am intending on playing it. I believe it's Freebird Games. Um, I don't know. I'll put the name of it here if you're curious. Oh. 
where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get set up? Yeah, that'll do. Are you guys ready to get settled? You know what? No, let's 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 look more. Not yet. My colleague could use more work out carrying the equipment around. He's always taking care of me. Okay. Better not disturb him in this state. Okay. What do... Oh, my bad, sorry. What do the computers say? Wardrobe. Okay, there are a surprisingly large amount of neatly folded long johns in here. Is looking there really necessary? Okay, you know what? Maybe. Where are you two going? Just stretching my legs and breaking my back. I think I've looked at a lot of things. I mean, maybe I'll go outside again. Nothing here to see. Okay. Oh. A song of solid dihydrogen monoxide and rapid oxidation. Yeah, let's read passage. And then they too succumb to their mortal wounds as the last of the... No thanks. Reminds me too much of my job. Okay, um... Probably won't be able to leave the room. Oh, I am able to leave here. Model of a small fixed wing aircraft. Okay, so yeah, like they said, he was a pilot. An unplugged computer. That's a little odd. I am! A wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. It's locked. Oh. I like how she was like, why are you going in there to the one room, but... <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Let's meet the patient first before rampaging through his property. <laughs> Gee, when did you become so noble? Let's leave the investigating to after we're all set, Sherlock. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, wait. Hey, I love to snoop as much as the next genius, but let's go find the guy we're snooping about first. Okay, wait. Oh, no, I wanted... Patience is virtue. Pat virtue is getting paid. I was gonna try and see the photos. I guess I won't leave then. Okay. Maybe I'll go outside on the balcony one more time, just in case for some reason now it's like, hello? Okay. Are they all turning to, like, face us? Probably. Okay. Let's get set up. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, just give us a moment. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking me that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Hmm. Huh. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. Dang. <coughs> That's equally comforting, as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. Yo, you were just the one who was going out, like, on about getting paid, so... So you two are for real. No, we're just weirdos who came into your house, Sophia. What do you mean? Can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because it would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. 
He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon, en soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? Neil! <gasps> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. <sighs> Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Um... I kind of feel like Neil should do it, you know? But, like, if we run into the kids again, let's do Rosaline. Well, someone's gotta go get it. And that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? <laughs> oh, Neil. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Cool. That'll save some time. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to go. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Saved their arses. Ironically, turned out they got nothing up to do today. Hmm. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna check on the patient. Oh no, so I do go get it. By the way, you should knock on the neighbor's door on the way out. What? Why? If I remember right, someone from that address just signed up with Sigmund last week. And since we're treated like angels of death and all, could be a fun break. Hey, just come and get the patient monitor before you go. Okay, um, that's nothing. Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor, nice. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or right click to open menu. Excellent. Now him having a heart attack would probably g give me one too. Oof. Can I go in here now? Ooh, I can. Ooh, the lights automatically go on. Mage digital piano. I'd rather leave the snooping to Neil. He'll have time for it while I get to the car. Okay, okay, I get your hint. Wait, what's in here? Is this the washroom? Ooh, the toilet paper is sparkling. Dang it. Why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? Yes! <laughs> One day, they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Yeah, but how did you hang it, Ava? Oh, whoa, that's so cool! Wait. How does that... Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. I was on the ground floor anyways. Um... Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna proceed. Well, just a few seconds won't hurt. Ooh, I love me some snooping. Wait. A faded poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. There are a lot of boxes. Well, I mean, oh. What the hey? Inefficient use of bookshelf detected. It's the one book. Someone taped it shut. I guess the owner prefers to keep it that way. Oh yeah, unseal and open. But it might help with the job to find out. And they did hire us. See, that's my thought exactly, Rosaline. It's just a bunch of blank pieces of paper glued onto the spine. Left over from the cleanup, perhaps. Or is it one of those where you have to put it under a certain light or like fire sling and then it reads? What? That's interesting. Or maybe he wants that filled with um it's received green notebook. Okay, so I'm gonna try and read everything. So notes. It's filled with blank pages. Items. Monitor. 
connects widely to the patient's local monitor for live supervision. That's... I hope me snooping around doesn't affect him dying more. Okay, well, I guess I should hurry then. Enough snooping. Already got a clue. Um, should I knock on the patient's door? Sure. Ooh. Made the music stop. It knocked, though. Well, okay. Time to leave, I guess. But which neighbor? There are many neighbors. Wait. Oh, I can switch between characters? Well, it's entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep. My handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. <laughs> but instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. What does this mean? Oh, shoot! Was I supposed to get Neil to snoop? Yes. About Colin. Could you tell me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? Why wouldn't you share about- Okay, this is a little shady. You never know what, when additional perspectives come in handy. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. Yes? Can you give me a tour of the apartment? I'd prefer to stay here with my husband. Okay. Well, I guess it's not a, it's no tour without a guide. Well, I mean, she, she just said no. Maybe I'll ask the doc? What is it? Uh, how's our guy doing? He's in stable condition, at least for now. We're ready to proceed when everything's set up. Good stuff. Ava's just getting something from the car while the machine configures. You again, eh? Small world. Which patient did we work with last again? I believe it was Aubrey Jones. And before then, Roel Perez, Maya Green, and Johnny Wiles. That dates quite some time back. What are you, the reigning memory champ? Frankly, I'd be more surprised if you don't remember each one of their names. But I guess since I don't do all, do this all the time like you guys, it's easier for me to recall them. I never said I forgot any of them. Doc's name. Excuse me for being more of a face guy, but I somehow can't recall your name. That's okay. I prefer to just be called doctor. Oh, I bet you'd like that then. You cool again? Okay. Um, maybe I'll see if he wants to give me a tour. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I should probably shut this. Hey! Yeah. Um, seeing as how we're gonna go in your father's head and all, some background info would help. Well, he is a retired airline pilot. And quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up, and always made time for us. Although, more recently. But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Was he forgetting? Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'd help. Sweet, spares me the asking. Now sure has joined the party. So, oh, okay, yeah, you're gonna come with me. Okay, well, I already snooped a bit. Okay. Ooh, glowy things. An aged digital piano. This is my mother's old keyboard. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. It's a good piece. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches on the board. 
She plays the cello too? No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. Seems like it hasn't been in been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Okay, I'll have to read these notes in a bit. Can I comment on the toilet paper? Oh. Well, that's nice he didn't go in with me. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing much in the kitchen, is there? No. I guess the sparkling things are where I need to go. Okay, so how about these really pretty flowers? A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Huh, aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. So, let's guess. Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. It looks like Bamf in the background or something. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, so... An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of a cleanup. Okay. Looks like they missed one. Whoops, just broke that open. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Whoops. Someone's ripped off the tape already. Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Uh-huh. Literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's... odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? Or maybe there's something on the spine. I suppose. I'm gonna have to remember that book. But either way, I can't do much with this as it is. Let's look somewhere else. Um, oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, it's a lock cabinet. Here's a family photo album. I wonder if I can press Q and switch in the middle of this now. <laughs> Goes way back. Thanks, never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I should get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Uh, sorry for your soon-to-be lost, Asher. So did Asher have gray hair as a child too? He's so annoyed in the bottom picture. That's so cute. Aww. Oh. These are so cute. Oh wait, I'm still in the house as Ava, aren't I? Oh wait. I want to see if... Oh! Angus! Oh fuck, you're from Sycor! Oh, what? Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me, I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already told you, we're not here for you. No, I I I'm not prepared, I can't die yet! Oh, I know. 
You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much. Tralala. -la. Oh no, I didn't mean to press again. You're still here! <laughs> no, this isn't fair. I worked so hard my whole life. And I have to die before I've ever been to Detroit? Fuck this ball and your. I'm gonna do it one more time. You know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps, perhaps they could still save me. Maybe if they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. Go. Go to the real world and tell them to save me. Please, it's not too late. I gotta do it again. How many times? You again. No. No need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were ways to save me, they would have already done it. There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? Oh my god. What good is anything, really? Just leave me, Doc. I'm already dead. Oh my god, this is so funny. I really shouldn't mess around, but I feel like I'm... You know what? I've thought it through. Everybody dies someday. For me today is as good as any uh, a day as any and with you here you can make my dreams come true so today it's actually my lucky day so go ahead fulfill my wish bring disco back and make me its king we already told you you're not dying you're not our patient and we're not here for you this face bye oh my god that's so funny to make a note to assign someone else to this guy. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I should go to the car. What? What? It's not letting me down. Oh, there we go. I just had to press the keys, obviously. Like a real elevator works, you know. I have a big fear of elevators, though, in real life. Like, I don't know why. I never really. Oh, she's back. Hold on. <gasps> Potato got her bear. Hey, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. What? Right. Please tell your parents to watch your sugar intake. Ooh, I believe it. Ma said if I ever get bored, just I can just potate. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I guess I can talk to him. Maybe I will. Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, just forgot something. But gosh, I sure hope not. Okay, let's go. Did the... What was her name? The bully? Uh, like, Alexa? Something like that? Did she get her th X3000 toy back? What's over here? Nothing. Okay, well, let's go back. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, there's an... Is that... Oh, there's swans. Geese. Whichever. Okay. Bonnie. Who's dying, dear? Pardon me, ma'am? That coat and tag. You are from Sigma. If you're here, then somebody's time is up. Colin Reeds. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years of seeing around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Okay. Should have been like, have you seen a lady in a brown dress? Where did that one chick go? Okay, well. Can I just, I'm not gonna go on the road. I'm just gonna quickly, okay, nothing else is over here, so I guess. 
I have the car keys, I assume, right? Oh, okay. The file isn't in the car either. That doofus must have left it in the office. Yes, there was no file. Ooh. Dr. Roxanne Winters. Ava! Hey, Roxy. Still at the office? Yep. Just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand. With it opening instantly for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators, too. Yeah? When was the last time it didn't open instantly? Oh my god, that's... Well, when I didn't press the button. <laughs> uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky or... Okay, okay. For pumpkin's sake. Look, Neil forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, pokey loki. Just give me a moment. Okay. Mission accomplished? Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Fuck, I forgot at the office, didn't I? It's fine, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Oh. Well, my office is locked, but she should probably check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Soon? Oh. Buzz buzz. Did he find it, Rox? Yep. It was just sitting on Neil's table. <laughs> cool beans. Just scan it and... Wait. Neil's table? Yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't it locked? You're inside Neil's office? Yep. You asked me to get the files, right? Yeah. But Neil said he had his door locked. Oh. A girl's got her ways. <laughs> I like her. Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yup, yup. On it. Girl, what you do? You rock. Oh. <clears throat> oh, what? You guys got everything else you need? Yep. Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Oh. Uh, is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad. Neato. I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. Um, why? <gasps> Girl, does she like Neil? Just scan it and send it over. Saves time for us both. Well, we've got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you about then. Okay, Roxy. Have a safe drive. Oh, girl. What an oddball, that Roxanne. I like her, though. I like Roxanne. She's cute. I don't have to walk all the way back. Okay. Though I didn't get to check that bottom room right there that Ava just came out of. Oh well. Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has Rock sent the scans? No. She said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. Yeah, because she wants you, Neil. Then again, you know Roxanne. She's always a little cucumbered up in the head. Whoa, language, Eva. Anyway, I guess we could still start in the meantime. You're almost on the recliner.
good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set you out to do. Thank you. What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. Yes, ma'am. We're commencing in just a moment. I'm going to read the notes first, if I remember. Colin's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. You never know exactly how long we have. That's true. Okay. So, I'm going to go through my notes. So, yeah, this guess. Colin worked as an air pilot. Cello. Okay. And I'm going to save real quick. 